How do you cut carrots? Do you peel them and cut them or do you just cut them? I would peel them first. Yeah, same. <laughs> Some people don't, you know, because you know the nutrients and the... the, 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 the. You know, I find it, it looks it... gross. Like, yeah. you just eat carrots like it's... that. But I'm not glamour, Ian's got to jail. If you ever write an ERL, you probably might see him. Hey, 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 welcome to Eat Here, Not There. Um, today I'm at his place and um, he'll be teaching me. Teaching is a strong word. Okay. <laughs> so okay, let's show say we'll me. We'll be experimenting. Okay, we'll be experimenting. Uh, thick beef stew because. I don't actually know how to make real beef stew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and real beef stew has tomato paste and, and stuff. We have most of the ingredients for beef stew. Okay. And we will probably have the consistency of beef stew. Okay. But it will be authentically inauthentic beef stew. Alright. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is we're going to marinate the beef. The other thing you should know about me is that I don't measure anything. Okay. I just feeling it. How much? Don't know. You just see until you feel like I think this will be salty. Then you stop. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see lah, but okay lah. Mole lah. So just give it a little bit of spice. Then we're going to mix it. I will not use my hand. Okay. All right. Once that's done, we're gonna put that aside. Mm -hmm. Say a prayer and go on to the vegetables. Don't judge me on how I cut my onions. Oh, so you don't peel the... No, I peel after. Okay. I just take out the first layer. I know it's a bit wasting lah, to ah. pay, you know. Anybody right. got time for that? <laughs> you want to give it a little bit of some ring-a-ding-dings. Just, you want to separate it. How to cut carrots for lazy people. Line them up. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You don't want to cut the potato too small okay. because then you can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to fry, no, saute the onions. Throw this in. Oh, that sizzle. So, when I'm sauteing onions, I like to put a little bit of basil. Why? Don't know. It just smells nice. Just a little bit, like a pinch. Or two pinches. Yeah, okay, I think okay. that's good. Okay, so after this, what I do is I dump in water. Mm. This is what's gonna make this stew stew. So it depends on, on how much meat you have, mm. just how much of water you dump in. Okay. So this is the boring part where we wait for the water to boil. Okay, so the fried onions is not merely fried onions, mm -hmm. it's fried onions. Uh, I mix it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and depends on what kind of spices you want. Um, so I usually use basil because I use basil in everything I cook. I'm a basil bitch. Yeah, so I use a bit of basil and parsley. Cooking tips. How do you know when your oil is hot? Do you know how no. to see when your oil is hot? I, always, I usually put like some water, like a drip of water. <laughs> like a drip of water just to know, yeah. Okay. No, if you have a wooden uh, ladle, you put it in the, the oil, uh -huh. and if it bubbles like that, then you know it's oil is hot. You see the ah, bubbling? Okay, yeah. Okay. So the more it bubbles, then you know it's hot now. Put the onions in. How much? A few. One KFC spoon. You just see the top layer of the oil. If you think that's enough, it's good to go. So this is just for like a bit of complex flavors. Then you just okay. mix it and leave it. Okay, so we're almost done with our fried onions. So the color is kind of like that. You can, you can see some is a little bit more brown than the others. Mm. And that's fine because any more brown is going to be burnt already. And we don't want to be burnt. We've cooked the rice already. Mm. Our beautiful basmati rice and stir. So when the water is hot, we're going to add 
chicken cube inside. Okay. Uh, white chicken because it's cheaper. Yeah. So we're gonna stir until the cubes um, disintegrate into the water. Salt. You don't want to put too much, uh, not because it's already salty, but because the beef already is salted. I also like to drop in white pepper. Okay. Just to give it a spice. Okay, and that's it. We put okay. it to low fire and we let it simmer for an hour ish. Alright. Barnabas! line just now so mm -hmm. now because you've just simmer it for such a long time the water has gone down so much mm -hmm. but still it's fine because this, this is what we want we don't want too much water okay how you know if it's ready or not you, you check the potato you can just touch that a bit and you can see how soft it is mm. and then you check the meat as well so if it's it depends on how soft you want but if you're impatient like me okay one hour to go we're going to mix this with flour and cornstarch ah yeah so I just I'm going to put some flour. Okay. It's not done. It's not um, yet done. Because, let's wait some more. Yes, I like to simmer it. But let's taste it. You okay. taste it. We want not too not too thin, but also not too thick. And that's it. And we're done. Woohoo! Thanks for watching guys! Bye!